So, Dibbles, get all back to answer some more goddamn questions. Questions we're going over today. Hope it's the next video online. I kind of actually lost where the fuck my place was because I haven't recorded a video going over the comments on the phone in several days now. Well, videos are, you know, a lot of pre recorded Like I said, put them up because I just got back from Metal Threat a couple days ago. So I'm out of my goddamn rhythm. But anyways, this motherfucker was posted three weeks ago. And uh, I went back a couple of, I mean, the hemorrhage one or whatever introduction. I knew I did that. That's a couple above that. So maybe I missed a couple of vids, but uh, whatever. Tough fucking shit. Still three weeks behind, goddammit. So we've got plenty to talk about. Anyways, all the very fucking bottom. <clears throat> Ryan Zerta 2, as always. Question. J Dog, do you ever dance with LCAT? Question mark. Specifically, slow dance. I'm not a dancer by any fucking stretch, but sometimes got to hold the wifey and do that stuff. Roy Orbis, Orbison. God damn it. Don't know who Roy Orbison is. But uh, no, not really. I mean, maybe when we first started dating and shit here and there, you know. Um, we went to a club. I don't even say call it a club. It was kind of like a kind of a club, I guess. A bar, restaurant kind of club. Uh, early years of dating. And uh, she says, I dance like fucking Frankenstein. Well, because I don't know how to fucking dance. Only know, only know how to head bang, God damn it. When I had the hair. Had to head retire that shit too. Superbound. Question, J-Dog. Have you ever heard heard of or listened to Judge of? Judge of? Isn't Judge of the goddamn fucking lizard? Fucking uh, from uh, The Simpsons? Fucking... What is it, Patty or Selma's fucking li pet lizard? A lot of Judd Judds in the comments, though, sometimes. They'll say that, goddammit. Joe Dinkins, you seriously only like Bonded by Blood? Question mark, not even Fabulous Disaster. You know what? The thing is, is I've always kind of thought to kind of like go back and listen to Exodus. I'll admit my fucking... Uh, brain was kind of scarred because of the Dawn of the Deads and the, uh, Jim Kanyas because that was saying anything after fucking uh, Bonded by Blood is terrible Sousa's horrible destroy Sousa that type of shit right um, I will say this Pledge to the Flesh I kind of think it sounds like shit you gotta crank it to hear it but uh, it has songs I like especially the opening track Deranged I think is good um, I have heard of uh, Exodus tracks here and there uh, that I thought were pretty good. It definitely got that kind of a party slash what they call pizza thrash, I guess, which was news to me part of this fucking channel, although kind of fucking funny. It has that kind of vibe on it, but I can't deny that there was parts that the riffs were really fucking catchy. Uh, Fabulous Disaster in particular, I don't know for sure if I've ever even listened to that one. Um, again, because I had to kind of skew mine. But, uh, like I said, love uh, Bottom of My Blood. Definitely love some uh, tracks off of um, Pleasures of the Flesh. And I like love the demos as well, too. There's demo LPs out there. The demos, there's the 82 demo on 7 inch. Have it, of course, goddammit. That Strike of the Beast double LP, fan fucking fantastic. Songs like Whipping Queen and shit on there. It's so all that early stuff, pre album, pre Bonded by Blood. Cause most of those songs, they never even were on the goddamn uh, uh, on Bonded by Blood. So anything Bonded by Blood or down, I definitely like that stuff. But um, And then 90s albums, um, Maybe Fabulous Disasters, maybe 1990 or so. I know it's an earlier one, but was that 89, 90, 91? But when you're talking like albums that are doing like 95, 96, 97, uh, I, I don't know it at all. Would I like it? Probably not. But we, again, never really gave it a fair chance. Uh, and then I, but I do like the uh, live disc uh, too. Uh, what is it fucking called? Um, drawing a goddamn blank. But it's like live 96, the disc that's uh, back, Pal Bailoff's back to do it. And pretty much all they do is Bonded by Blood songs. They do the Impaler. I think they do Pleasures of the Flesh. So like two or three songs that were not bonded by blood and then the rest all bit, uh, bonded by blood songs. Uh, it was bail off. But I, actually, to be honest with you, that's one of my favorite live albums of all fucking time. Why am I drawing a blanket? What the fuck it's goddamn called? Um, I don't know. Once I fucking heard it. But uh, yeah, that's one of my favorite fucking live albums, dude. So when that came out in the 90s, so I like that Exodus release as well. Uh, Phil and Spill and Selmer's boxers. These question marks in here. 1404. Really starting to question the IQ of a lot of your followers. Yep. Does this guy really think the music playing in the beginning of that recording was initially done by the band? Question mark. Has this dude never been to a show before? Don't remember what we're talking about. But yeah, dude, some of the comments I see, most of you guys are have brain cells, but especially whenever when we when we first started talking about the posers or when I talked about the fucking geezers like Tom G and shit not listening to metal, some of the comments that were coming in, I'm like, dude, you guys are uh, 
you got to be fucking single digit IQ. You, yeah, you have to be. I was like, because they're just saying shit. I'm like, like, how do you, how do you not know this? Like, this is it's fucking obvious. Or if you didn't know it, probably be like, huh? Never thought about it. Yeah, it makes sense. But um, most videos, yeah, I don't see anything completely fucking stupid. But there seems like there's always two, three, and then there's the fucking wise asses that want to come in and say something just completely fucking dumb, just to, I guess, fuck with me, which is fine too. But um, but yeah, some of the shit you see, you're like, wow, just fucking wow. Even Francisco over at Jamming Out All Badass, after the show we did, the last show we did, talked about it a little off camera. He's like, dude, I don't know how you do it with the comments. He's like, I would lose my fucking mind with some of the stupidity. Let's <laughs> see you, uh, other people, they leave comments. I'm like, yeah, but that's what makes it fun, dude. I was like, those are kind of my favorite because you know, I, I just try to have as much of a field day on them as I possibly can because, yeah, it's like just unfucking believable. Yeah, the question marks. Doubles. Here's one. Chadley B. As always, goddammit. Hilarious topic of the what the fuck signings on HHR question marks. <clears throat> well, he might mean Morgan. It's not even on our label, bro. bro. Druid Lord. Evil Dam. Uh, maybe those. Maybe Yimer. Dude, again, not even on our label. If you're going to come say shit, fucking say something with fucking brain cells. It's not even on our fucking label. Yes, we sell it. We sell Cannibal Corpse, too. Are they on our label? No, we carry it. Uh, Yimer, Spider, Hammer, Spider and Hammer are definitely bangers, brah, brah. Uh, yeah, the two above, though, no, do I personally care about them? Not really. Rubber Witch, again, not on our label, brah, brah. Get, check your fucking shit before you fucking come over here saying stupid stuff. Laugh out loud. Every band, pretty much. Surprised to see Crimson even fall. Again, not on our label, brah, brah. Fuck. Here we go. We're just like we're talking below. The dumb shit I see. Again, why, why don't you start throwing fucking Merciful Fate in there, Six Feet Under, Cannibal Corpse, and just other labels? Like, yes, because we carry it. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's not even on our fucking label, dude. Clear as fucking daylight. There's no HHR logo on it. Well, we're ruining the rep with HHR, though. So many so many ham and eggers in the roster, it hurts. Maybe that feeble savior, Haxon, Tombstalker. Another one not on the label, dude. Maybe Slot Bath, Forge Yard. Again, not on the label, brah, brah. Perversion, question marks. Uh, I, I don't really know what the point is. Basically, you're saying that there's some that we put out bands that you don't like. That's that's, that's fine. I don't think that's totally fine. We put out bands I don't like. Ronnie Barr, question mark, question for J Dog. What do you think of the band Necrophobic? Great black death metal. I currently have their first two albums, Nocturnal Silence and Dark Side. Yeah, Nocturnal Silence is by far the superior fucking record. No question about it. Uh, I like Dark Side, Third Antichrist, Blood Hymns. And to be out, be honest, outside that, I've kind of stopped paying attention. Uh, but I've never heard anything by them that sucks. But those are the ones I mentioned, those are the ones that I own. Distributive call points. Who else wishes J Dog would keep it strictly focused on metal related topics and poser stories? Question mark. I just go wherever the fuck the questions lead, bra bra. With that being said, his breakfast cereal segue. Did have, all too briefly, some amusing potential. It all has amusing potential, goddammit. Yeah, I don't know about you guys. I mean, I know it's a metal channel, but fuck me dead. All you want to talk about 24-7 is goddamn metal. Um, that's fine, but fuck. I mean, you don't like anything else? Uh, I can't even pronounce this goddamn user ID, but J-Dog, are you going to get the new GOAT? Goat Moon album on vinyl soon? Uh, I'd imagine we are. I don't do the stocking, but I would we get everything else by them, so I don't see any reason why we're not. If you ask the fucking dummy below, surprised he didn't put Goat Moon in the goddamn HHR Shark We didn't release it, dude. Oh, yeah, I know that. You know, with a lot of the others, they're on the same goddamn label. Not us. Again. Rodney Barr. One corpse grinder side project that never gets brought up. In here is the band Serpentine Dominion. I've seen the name, but I've actually never heard it myself. Also has Adam from Kill Switch Engage on guitar. Ugh. I don't uh, don't know Kill Switch Engage, but just by the name, I'm fucking turned off. Let's just say that. Hey, J.D. Dog, ever heard of that band? Heard of them, but uh, didn't don't know anything about it. Or at least one album so far. Basically sounds like George singing over Kill Switch playing in a death metal style. Ugh. I mean, the fact that it's got corpse grinders has got potential, but goddamn. Um, I'm, I'm not excited to just go run out and buy it right now. Let's just say that, based off that description. Uh, 
Johnny Sun. Question, J-Dog, have you ever seen the new video Revolver Magazine put out asking artists about the heaviest riff ever? Oh, boy, here the fuck it comes. Who, who, who do they got in there? No, I haven't, but let's, let's see what the fuck stupid thing is. keeps going on, so I'm sure there's something fucking stupid as fuck in there. Your homeboy Chris Garza <laughs> was on there and said it was corn with the heaviest riff. He would, brah, brah. Uh, heavier than the breakdown riff, riff on the so on Impaled Song True Card? That's heavy as fucking time, brah, brah. The fuck are you talking about? Surely not heavier than the goddamn fucking Tish. Just put on one of the slower fucking mid-tone uh, songs, like fucking goddamn uh, Zombie Apocalypse or the opening fucking 30 seconds of Chainsaw to Smurmit. Corn's got heavier riff than that? <laughs> No fucking way Jose does. He's spitting all the goddamn place. Uh, I haven't heard the crappy corn, but there's no... Impossible. Every other answer was basically corn and Pantera, except Pustulus Maximus from Gore, who seems to actually be in the metal, and gave a shout-out to Dehumanized and Deicide. Dude, exactly. Fucking Dehumanized, the uh, prophecies foretold? Or is it foretold unseen? You know, next mistake between the band prophecy and that. But you know what I'm fucking talking about. The first goddamn dehumanized just the opening fucking track. Best goddamn track on the album, goddamn it. With the Independence Day fucking uh, intro. Fantastic banger. Dude, that's catch fucking riff central, goddamn it. Heavier than and Korn's entire fucking catalog combined. So, uh, you, again, I, what are these guys... Um, like, what is their definition of heavy then? When they're saying Pantera and Corns. Again, if they like that too, at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. But how can you even say that that's the heaviest ever? Like, for example, I wouldn't come in here and say, one of my favorite bands is Merciful Fate. There's nothing by them I would say, that's the heaviest riff ever. If you were to say, that's the greatest song of all time. That's my favorite fucking song. I listen to it every day. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, because that, that's personal preference. But to state something almost like as a factual thing, uh, in, in the metal world, that this is the heaviest? It's like, dude, you better have a decent goddamn fucking answer. Because uh, I, to be honest, yeah, I don't know what the heaviest thing is off the top of my fucking head, but I mean, say something off fucking Onward of the Gulf or something, something that's uh, fucking up there. Let's say something dumb as fuck. Like, hell, even another thing, like if I said something off Deceased, like a very familiar stranger or something, it's got the heaviest riff ever. What? No, it don't. And I fucking love that record, but the heaviest ever written. No, it doesn't. Like, no, no, nowhere to be found is there the heaviest riff on that goddamn album. So, I mean, just because you like it, it's like these guys are almost just picking their favorite songs or something they, they grew up on. That's the heaviest. That, that wasn't the question, Rob, right? What, what's your favorite or what you grew up on? So, like, what the fuck do you define as the goddamn, as, 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 the, as heavy? I guess, I guess the real question, then. Because those, those answers make, those, anyone that said that, that makes no logical fucking sense. Or... They haven't heard anything heavy, but at least Garza, he's heard he's heard Deicide, he's heard Exhumed. You're telling me Corn's heavier than anything about not like that gore metal, Necromaniac, fucking open the abscess, limb from limb, inoculation. I, come on, come on, blah, blah. I mean, look, look at that opening riff, fucking uh, in my human slaughterhouse. That's fucking smashes the corn and fucking whip terrors. Every riff they got. I mean, walk. What is that? The fucking heaviest riff? That's the most fucking trendy ass fucking annoying goddamn football metal goddamn stadium riff that I've ever fucking heard. It, it gets that goddamn uh, that vote, but not heaviest riff of all time, bro. Jordan Sally. Questions all the fucking time. Question What stores did you usually get your CDs from when you first started buying albums? I usually got mine from Hastings and Camelot Music. Most of you back then, to be honest with you, bought it online. But as far as the main store went to, uh, would have been the Extreme Music, which was uh, Brian Baxter's and Mutant Mike's shop. So in-person buying was primarily there. Man, guy's got a book here but with no goddamn question marks. Yo, this is that just pure bomb. I, I answered that one off. This is why I skipped to this video about he's 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 asking his brother his mom. What was that pure bomb? What was the goddamn uh, verdict on that about going to Maryland? Like, what did your mom and dad say? And your brother, who why the fuck he gets it? your mom and dad? I can see them getting a say, but your brother, what the fuck him? What does he? What say does he get? 
tell him to fucking jump in the goddamn lake, not the fire. Uh, what was the goddamn verdict on that? Did you just show him the video what the dog said? Nothing to be concerned about. It's funny because I told that story to a couple guys at uh, Maryland. Who did I tell? You? I think I told it to Randy. Son of me, he's like, what's the problem? I was like, yeah, well, he says he's shorter, like 5'6", 125 pounds. He's like, you just described half the fucking metal scene. <laughs> I was like, right. Right. He's like, what's the, I don't see a problem. <laughs> Neither did I. Yeah, up here about leaning the goddamn verdict on that shit. Adam Sase, the lurking corpses are great. You got that right, brah, brah. Only fucking canoe-ass mofos don't know that. Look, they got a new one recorded. Well, it's almost done. Shane, I think it's done. Shane said he's fucking recorded and got to master it. Uh, but it should be out soon. And I think Hells is putting it out for two. We asked him, he says he wants to go 50-50 on or some shit. But I think we'll have some collab with it. Definitely looking forward to that. I'm a hell of a lot more excited that, about that than any crappy-ass fucking Vlad Tepes version black metal that's coming out. That's for goddamn sure. Smells like the Dead album really needs a vinyl press. I agree. Even if it's just a small pressing of 200 copies, be even fucking better for, for, for fucking maniacs only, not fucking uh, brain-dead fucking canoes that think Pantera and goddamn corn have the heaviest verse ever. Or better yet, a box set of the four Lurking Corpses albums on picture disc. That's a tall order. I mean, Grant, I'd buy it, but goddamn. And a compilation album of all their seven-inch releases and some live tracks. They only have one seven-inch that I know. Yeah, just one seven-inch that I'm aware of. And I'm aware of the band fully, so unless I'm forgetting something, it was the one that they did the uh, Grim Reaper cover on it. Yeah, I think that's the only seven-inch they have. Unless there's something I don't know about with it out. Uh, Goatman all at the top, goddammit. Uh, we might have to make the next goddamn video because it's the last one. I thought there was a Garza parody account by the actual, but the actual real account is in, he, is in here. I wonder if Garza knows sadistic intent. Uh, well, I've, I doubt he does, but, um, we would find out if he, if he, if he emailed me back, goddamn, about coming on the channel. But, um, that does not fucking surprise me because, uh, speaking of sadistic intent, that those guys pulled the same shit on me. Try to get an interview with the Cortez brothers. I got the, yeah, 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 later, man. Twice, two days. Wait, wait, wait or when, bro, when I'm fucking 1 a.m. when I'm sleeping, we're standing here doing nothing. Uh, let's just do it now because it was at the show and we're just literally just standing around talking, shooting shit. Really cool guys, I'll say that. Super friendly. And I was like, yeah, I want to do it. Like, yeah, 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 let's do it later, man. Uh, why not now? We've literally been standing here for an hour talking and we're doing nothing. And, and again, later when, like 1 a.m., I want I, I want to go home, go to bed. Well, I want to go back to my Airbnb, go to fucking bed because I got to be back back here bright and early in the fucking morning to restock the goddamn um, the bins for that because we're vending and, and do this shit all over again. Be on my feet all fucking day. So let's just fucking do it now. That's like me asking somebody like, hey, dude, what's your fucking middle name? I'll tell you tomorrow. What do you mean? Just tell me right fucking now. Like, well, we're just standing here. You know what I mean? So got that. And so, but yeah, waiting on Garza. I don't know, man. But again, I'm, I'm to be completely honest with you, I'm fucking used to it. And uh, kind of uh, kind of expected this goddamn point. Um, that's why, again, what, I'm thinking about going to the North Carolina Chainsaw Fest. But unless McEntee gives me 100% talk to Corpse Grinder, he says to fucking go noon on Saturday, one hour before the show starts. He's ready for you, brah, brah. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get it sometime. To let that, 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 we won't get it. That's, that's, I already know how that's fucking goddamn going. We ain't going to fucking get it. So, um, that's on the fence. So, uh, possible, like I said, I think I vaguely mentioned it. I'll know maybe by the uh, 25th or so of April, recording this on the 19th. If I'm definitely going to Chainsaw Fest or not. Again, I'm only going if I get a two fucking paws up, you can do an interview with Corpse Grinder. I'm not driving seven and a half hours to see a bunch of bands that I've seen. I've, I've seen them all already. And on top of fucking that, Possessed being a band where I like to watch, which was the only band I actually haven't seen that I would like to see. Um, they're playing in Cleveland two weeks later. So I'm not driving seven and a half hours just for that. But um, so if I drive seven and a half hours and I get a yes and I get fucked in the ass, you know, getting a goddamn Corpse Grinder interview, I'd be very fucking annoyed. Again, I don't do the interviews to make money, to make dick. I don't even monetize. As you can see, like, these videos, I don't even monetize them anymore. Oh, yeah, I guess I did notice I don't sit through any crappy commercials. Yep, doll cooked you up. T took one for the team, goddamn it. Ain't making shit. Ain't, so literally ain't making shit on any fucking videos at all. It's purely for my entertainment, and your guys is fun to fucking watch. So who the fuck would want to see a goddamn Corpse Grinder interview? What do you guys think? What do you think devils want to see that? Not see it. I fuck that guy, man. Who gives a fuck what he has to say? So the Caval tough guys, black metal guys, I'd say that. Either way, tough shit. I still plan on fucking doing it as long as I get it, goddammit. So we'll see what we got again, get where it goes. But as guards as a significant intent, we'll never know for sure because uh, they haven't invited me on. Them and Nunslaughter, Denial of God, and Disaster. Does he? Probably, maybe, but I highly fucking doubt it. Comes towards 
Cry, let's go watch some insurance, goddammit. You know the news. Put the God's box in your hands. Praise the morning. Later, goddammit.